bring the knight here, attacking the queen. If the queen takes the pawn, then they're in trouble because the knight would come here. Let's do that, keep it simple. Queen's come to the side, so it sort of blocked off that potential for the fork. Bishop's protecting the knight anyway. We could still get this bishop, we could still get the fork on the king and the rook. Let's push this pawn on, see if the queen wants to disappear. If it captures, then we get the rook. So we're up the exchange. Again, it's ugly. This is not like one of those clean opening type things. What we're looking at is the end game opening within the answer process as best possible. So it does actually capture the pawn anyway. So now we can just come here and get the queen. So I thought they'd actually realized that the knight could go there. That's why they brought the queen here. And now they've actually gone back to the original and their queen can be taken. So that was pretty straightforward. It doesn't mean we've won the game just because we've won the queen. Um, we can grab this bishop. Looks like they're giving us pieces now. So maybe they're going to surrender. And we've only developed the knight. So that's the case of not looking too deeply, looking simply. And I think maybe the opponent forgot that the queen was going to get a fork, or maybe they just didn't see the fork anyway, and they thought that they were just going to get the knight for free or something. So they've gone into a deep think. I'll pause it because they may be considering resigning now. Oh, well, they're actually playing on, so we've got to keep our wits about us now. Our knight's not protected, so we could, in essence, start trading down. So we may as well grab. Positionally, we don't have a position, but we're going to start establishing a position as from now. So this pawn doesn't have any protection, so let's develop the bishop, trying to make space, maybe for kingside castling. So the bishop's gone there. We can take the pawn or we can develop the knight because his rook's going to come onto the bishop. Do we want to be patient? I'm going to try and practice a little bit of patience. Let's go here because maybe the queen can come here once this knight disappears. Puts a check on the king. So yeah, practicing the elements of patience. I probably could have taken the rook came then I have to bring the bishop back somewhere else, but it's uh, potentially stopping me from castling. So I'm going to castle king safety, keeping it nice and simple. Now we can take the pawn, but is there a better position? This knight hasn't got any protection. We would love for our queen to come here to put a check on. And if his pawn gets to push onto our knight, our knight is kind of trapped because it can't go here so we could just push this pawn let's just push this pawn give our knight a little bit of air as you can see now I'm looking at my own blind spots just because we've got the queen off the board the opponent still obviously fighting and the knight does have space now, so I'm going to grab the pawn here. Try and open up this bishop. Maybe the bishop can come here to attack this pawn to try and get the. And as we said, we're going to bring this bishop back. So looking to improve position don't want to do anything crazy just because we've got more material on the board 
this is the time where you've got to start looking this is now time for our rook to attack the pawn because the bishop is attacking so this is like aggressive defending to try and get a much improved position on the board I've seen many position, many please games like these where you know the person's won a queen, they've won a piece, and then it all goes to sh it goes to pot because they're not placing their pieces in the correct places. We're using the answer process, which is basically trying to get target key spaces, key areas, and trying to put pressure towards the king area. So each of our moves is so he's actually coming for this see how the bishop is here and his rook is facing here we have plenty of protection with the queen and the rook so if he's got ideas of doubling his rooks up i believe we may have a bit of tempo in terms of being able to win out if we do capture the pawn his knight is going to capture here so it does put his knight in a fair, nice position covering this square so do we want to take or do we want to just move our knight if we move the knight he takes anyway we can take back with our pawn but then we're opening our king so i'm actually just going to simply take if his knight takes what do we have the ideal position that we were looking for which is the queen putting a check onto the king if the knight takes it's a nice position for the bishop but it doesn't have any protection on it at the moment his rook isn't working this rook is working but it's got no support with it got a nice angle for the bishop we're waiting to prepare our white square bishop potentially coming here or looking to upset this pawn or it might even just block this bishop off all depends what the opponent's going to do they've gone into a deep thing so we'll pause oh no so he's attacking a piece that's already defended it's highly defended twice by two pawns so basically we can actually take this pawn off the board now with the rook making inroads towards the king bishop can actually put a check on the king here and that type of situation we could push the pawn onto the knight freeing up space for the queen to put a check on but what is this rook really wanting to do i believe he wants to try and come here so that then he can double up his rooks onto the queen here and because he's got his bishop here as well so what's the best thing checks first let's put a check on the king first just to try and win a bit of tempo so he's come down for the rook okay so that's a nice touch now the bishop can come here but then the rook would take would that be a good good message could bring the pawn here blocking the rook's access also supporting the rook let's do that keep it simple if the rook takes queen takes obviously but you can see how they're trying to formulate an attack towards the king area key square being here trying to get their rook involved over this side and I may have missed the most appropriate moves as always when I look at these videos when I look back um, I look and I go why didn't you make that obvious move there why didn't you capture that piece etc happens all the time so now he's manoeuvred attacking this pawn here twice so our bishop is currently protecting the pawn our queen is currently protecting here is there something else that we can do we could look to challenge the, the rook see what the rook wants to do rook probably comes here then challenging we could bring the bishop here pinning the rook to the king so we basically win the rook so a steady placement of our pieces look it looks like it's working for us at the moment like i say i've probably missed a big move somewhere always happens but if you have a look at the games we're still ending up in an advantage of some sort so there's nothing too it's not too bad it's just sometimes when there's an obvious capture then you know um when you're looking back on the videos you go oh my life you wouldn't have had to work so hard and he's actually gone for it anyway so do we take with the bishop or 
do we take his rook with the check? Take his rook with the check on the king to get him away. Let's do that first. Checks first. So the king's now shooting over there. Is there anything else? The bishop could go back here, but then he's just going to bring his king there. Our queen necessarily can't go. So let's just take the knight now. So we're making more space towards his king area now. Got the white square bishop, dark square bishop. Oh, and they've resigned. Okay, that was an interesting game.